Hi, I'm Layla, and this is Zero 101 with Linfa Gray, and today I'm going to run through how to run and roll back depreciation. So to start, we need to get to our fixed assets. So if you click on Accounting at the top and scroll down to Fixed Assets. If I then click on my Registered tab, you'll see here that the purchase price and the book value for my items are the same, meaning that no depreciation has been posted. And so I'm going to click the Run Depreciation button. So depreciation can be run from the 1st of April 22 because that is our fixed asset start date and I'm going to run it to the 31st of August 2022. So you'll see here a summary of how much depreciation is going to be posted for each asset account and click confirm. So if I now click on the registered tab again you will see that the book value is now lower than the purchase price showing you that depreciation has been posted. However, if you've made a mistake or you want to just roll back to a different month, then you can click Run Depreciation again. But instead of selecting a date, click the Roll Back Depreciation button at the top right and roll back to a date that you want. I'm going to select the 1st of July 22, meaning that depreciation is now correct as at the 30th of June 22. So if I go back to my Fixed Assets page and the Registered tab, you will see that for my items purchased in August, the book value and the purchase price is still the same because no depreciation has been run past the 30th of June. And that is how you run and roll back depreciation. Thanks for watching 0101 with Linfa Gray. If you like this video, keep an eye out for more videos coming up in this series.